please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The vision of Doral Academy Charter Middle High School is to set the standard for outstanding student achievement while providing a safe and nurturing academic environment. Good morning, Firebirds. I'm Brianna Wezzo. And I'm Kansas and Mama. Today is May 19, 2020, and you're watching Firebird, Firebird TV, TV Middle, Middle School. Now let's test your trivia knowledge to see what went on today in history. Tropical Storm Arthur has crawled closer to the North Carolina coast on Sunday night, with minor flooding and rough seas on the southeast seaboard. Arthur formed Saturday in waters off Florida, marking the sixth straight year that a named storm has developed before the official June 1st start of the Atlantic hurricane season. The National Hurricane Center issued a tropical storm warning for North Carolina's Outer Banks on Sunday, as the storm center was located about 120 miles south-southwest of Cape Hatteras, North Carolina, with top sustained winds of 45 miles per hour. In local news, the Florida Keys will be reopening its stores to visitors starting next month. Monroe officials confirmed Sunday night that they will be suspending the checkpoints on US-1 and State Road 905 starting June 1st, as it's been closed since March 22nd to visitors to limit the spread of COVID-19. The opening will allow lodging establishments such as hotels and campgrounds to take guests at 50% capacity. Officials said these businesses will be required to implement sanitation procedures and follow American Hotel and Lodging Association guidelines. They will decide to remove the 50% capacity limit on a later date. Even though we've been in quarantine for two months, many of us have been doing what is called wrong. Here is Eric Hernandez on what not to do during quarantine. With two months in quarantine, you may have forgotten many of the don'ts to preventing the spread of COVID. Here are five tips of what not to do during quarantine. First, do not throw parties or invite friends inside your house. Being inside with friends can increase chances of spreading the virus and is contagious. Instead, why not have a Zoom party or socially distant party outside? It is a safer option and could turn out really fun if you really think about it. Number two, do not plan your dream vacation. Whether it's the Caribbean or Europe, it is still not safe to travel and should be avoided at all costs. Even though airfare is very cheap now, and you can get more legroom, it is still considered unsafe. Keep up to date with latest travel advisories for when it's safe to travel. Number 3. Do not get too comfortable. As a global society, we can say for certain what can happen next. If a sudden surge in new cases will make it necessary to reach the two quarantine measures, fears of a contagious strain come to be. The smart thing to do is to remain cautiously optimistic about freedom, but remain realistic of what the future could hold. Number 4. Do not stop washing your hands. Remember that relaxed restrictions won't necessarily mean that coronavirus outbreak is over, even if vaccine arrives. The goal is to get home and wash your hands to keep hospitals from being overwhelmed with patients in critical condition and minimize the risk for threatening symptoms. Hopefully, the good hand washing habits will now stick around and keep on going. Lastly, do not miss your classes. It's very important that you attend your classes and are on time, as attendance during online learning has been the highest attendance rates. Remember to also keep up with your grades, as we are heading into the final weeks of school. That's all for today, Firebirds. I hope these don'ts will help you during these last few weeks of school. Signing off for Firebird TV, I'm Eric Hernandez reporting. Now it's time for your daily announcements. The high school sports banquet will be today on the 19th at 7 p.m. on the Doral Firebird TV page. Make sure to tune in. 8th graders, 
There will be a mandatory Zoom graduation rehearsal tomorrow at 4 p.m. on Mr. Farrell's Zoom ID. Make sure to attend. On May 21st, the Virtual Academic Awards Ceremony will be held for those invited at 7 p.m. Hope to see you there. Stay safe, Firebirds. Wash your hands constantly and wear a mask and maintain social distancing. That's all for today, Firebirds. Thank you for watching. Firebird, Firebird TV, TV Middle, Middle School. School.